So is the doll family looking for some mashed potatoes to serve with that uh, roast we made last week? Join me and see how easy it is to make mashed potatoes for the dollhouse. Well, for this one, we have quite a bit of prep work to do. And I did the prep work ahead so I could have my colors mixed up. We need a piece of pre-baked clay. And this clay, I start out with my normal, you know, half white, half uh, translucent clay that I always use. And then I just used a little tiny bit of, what color yellow is this? This is sunflower. Any yellow, you want a cream color. Because potatoes are not a stark white. Potatoes have a little bit of a creaminess to them. The other thing we need to do is we need to mix up some TLS, some translucent liquid sculpey. And this is actually bacon. Yeah, this is regular TLS, right? Yeah. Um, you need to color that. We need the TLS to also be a cream color, a little lighter cream color. You can color TLS so many ways. You can use chalk. You can use clay, or you can use oil paint. Now, I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube with people using acrylic paint. If you go to the TLS website, they tell you right there, don't use acrylic paint. And there's a really good reason for that. Acrylic paint mixed with TLS, you can't tell when it's dry. There's water in acrylic paint. And when water heats, what does it do? It boils. We're heating above boiling temperature. If your water, the moisture that's left in your acrylic paint boils inside your TLS, it's going to ruin your project. And I suppose it could explode it. I don't know. I don't use that. Um, oil paint is fine to use in your TLS though. So that's what I used. And what I used was just some white um, oil paint and then I used just a little bit of yellow ochre just so it wasn't a stark white. So we've got that. Now. This, you're probably wondering, why do we pre-bake the clay? Well, we pre-bake the clay because we're going to grate it. We are going to, and this is just one of those um, things that you get at Dollar Tree in the pedicure kit. It's meant to take the rough skin off, your, off the heel of your foot. And I love Dollar Tree for stuff like that because you can get lots of stuff. So you're going to grate a bunch of this. And I'm actually going to turn the camera off and grate this because it's going to take a while to get this grated up. So I'll come back when it's all grated. Alright, so I've got some of that grated off and it's enough to fill my container. Now we need to take some of this TLS mixture. I tore my foil. I ended up grating this onto paper and then moving it back. We're going to take some of this and we're going to mix it. And I may need a second tool, I'm not sure. But there's a lot of ways to make mashed potatoes. This just happens to be one that I found um, in a British magazine a long time ago. And I really like it. it um, I mean, you could just soften some clay and do it that way, but I like how this turns out. I like the texture better, and it's a little easier to work with. Now, since I don't really have a good dish to use for this, I am just putting this into a little, a little container to look like a, um, or like a casserole dish. And one of these days on Trash to Treasure Thursday, I'll have to show you what this is. But we are going to put this in here. We're going to spread it out, and I should have mixed more. But you get the idea. Hopefully, I'm in the camera. Just put it in the container, and you'll have to you know, play with it a little bit. You'll have to... I need a toothpick. Here's one. I 
And remember, once you mix your TLS, it will keep until you bake it. So you could put that into a container. Just be careful what you put it into because being a polymer clay, it will eat through a lot of plastic containers. So a glass would be best. There we go. And if you want to make some for, um, oh, like to put on plates, just put little dabs on a tile. This is one place where I would work with a tile, not with a paper plate, if I was going to bake it out on its own. But there we go. I will go bake this. I'll actually mix up a little more TLS and clay, and I'll fill my container, and then I'll bake it off, and I'll okay, be I just back. got this filled. Before I bake it, I wanted to say a couple of things I almost forgot. Um, you can level this off as much as you want to before you bake it. If you want to put a serving spoon into your container, that will have to happen also, of course, before you bake it. And it's okay to put your stuff you've painted into the, um, into the oven at the low temperature we're using. So there we go. We've got it filled. If you wanted to, you could touch this up with some, some uh, colored chalks or something if you want to. Or we can paint when we get it out. So that's our mashed potatoes in the container. Hopefully you can see this. Let's see if I can get down a little further. I didn't get my second camera did not get started this time. So... There we go. That's what it looks like in the container. Um, and I'm going to go bake that off. And when it gets baked off and cooled, um, and follow the directions on the uh, jar of TLS, so the package of TLS for your baking time, and I'll be back when it's baked and cooled off. All right, so this has been baked and it's cooled off. So we've got a little casserole dish of mashed potatoes, like you might serve at a nice dinner. I did kind of get some on the side, but I wanted them on the side. Now if you want to make this look like it's been baked in the oven for a while, you could, because sometimes I have a couple of mashed potato recipes in real life that I mix up and I make ahead and then I bake them to make them, to serve them. You could brown this up with a little bit of, um, oh, like a light brown paint or a, a yellow ochre kind of color, but I'm just going to leave this the way it is right now, at least for now. And like I said, you could leave the bowl, the container not quite full and plop down some uh, servings onto a baking tile, bake them off at the same time you bake this, and then put them onto your plates along with some, ro some of the roast beef we made last week and maybe some gravy. If you want to make gravy, uh, there's a lot of ways to do that. I would probably recommend using some TLS and color it with some brown, either with some oil paint or some clay or some chalk, and uh, drizzle it over and you could do that. You could also make butter the same way. So I hope you enjoyed this video and come back next week and see what we make then.